Well, with more on the hotel worker strike, I'm joined by Kurt Peterson. He's the co-president of Unite Here Local 11. I hope that you are safely parked and not actively driving right now, Kurt. Thanks so much for uh, taking some time out to be with me. Where do negotiations stand right now? How big is the divide? Well, the divide is pretty significant because like most Angelinos, um, hotel workers are finding it harder and harder to afford to live in Los Angeles. Um, as you, your, your reporter said, the hotel is full, rates are $600 a night, and yet the workers are not earning enough to be able to uh, pay their rent for moving further and further away. Victorville, Lancaster, I mean, it just needs to end. And this is one industry that has the resources so that people can live in the city where they work. Given how far apart you are, uh, it, it, let, me, let me just make it clear though, is there active negotiating happening? Because in the writer's strike, for instance, for a long time, there's no one at the table. Is that actually happening with you? Yeah, we don't have any dates scheduled um, with the industry. So in that respect, we are, you know, at a standstill. On the other hand, um, the last few days have propelled us forward and both in the support of the public, of, of elected leaders, and frankly, um, the solidarity among our workers where they, they've moved from being a little bit afraid to feeling free. What's better than on the 4th of July weekend to, you know, be able to freely associate and picket and free speech. So we are growing in strength. We're confident we're going to win. And uh, I mean, it's just we're, we're, we feel like we're, we're heading in the right direction. What makes you confident that you're going to win? Because every single fight, the boss underestimates their workers every single time. And if I had a dollar every time the boss said never, I would be a very, very wealthy man. So uh, they always think the workers can't last, won't stand up, don't deserve it, whatever it is. And in this case, like in all those other cases, they end up being wrong. Any indication how long you think this is going to last, how long you are willing to go and tow the line, especially during uh, the summer months when it's really busy? Yeah, I mean, it's busy, and that means there's pressure on them to be able to provide the services that they want. And the other reason we believe that we'll win is we have a model, the Bonaventure Hotel, the largest hotel in Los Angeles, which is not as shiny and nice as the JW and the Ritz-Carlton, where your reporter is, um, ink to deal with this. They signed. They signed an extraordinary contract. So we have one that's fallen. The rest need to follow. It's very simple. Um, and so it's not like we haven't beaten a giant. We have. We just need others to follow. We believe that this is the, how they're going to understand that, that the workers are serious about earning enough to live in this city. What do you, uh, what, what's your word to, to, to tourists who come in and people who will be staying at these hotels and who are frustrated by maybe lack of service and just hampering their trip to Los Angeles? Yeah, I mean, I, I tell folks to go to the Bonaventure, number one, but number two, go in and tell the, uh, the hotel that you're staying at to, to, to do right by their workers. These, these, these guests are paying $500, $600, $700 a night during this anime uh, expo. They deserve real service by real hotel workers, not by managers who, you know, barely are cleaning rooms and, you know, there's all kinds of problems we're hearing about inside. So I think they need to complain to the employer and say they won't come back until they fix the this problem, which is very fixable. It's not about whether they have the money. It's about whether they want to share the money. All right. We're going to obviously stay on top of this. Kurt Peterson, co-president of Unite here at Local 11. Thank you so much for being with me tonight. My pleasure. And thanks so much for your interest. And, and it really means a lot to us.